everyone, it's Sharonda from Pay Your Weights, and today I'm going to be reviewing Gunpowder Milkshake, which is currently streaming on Netflix. This film is directed by Naval um, Papuchado, um, and it stars Kara Gillen, okay, Lena Headley, Michelle Yeoh, Angela Bassett, Carla Gugino, Chloe Sampson, as we focus on three generations of women who are fighting, okay? fighting against the powers that could take everything away from them. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome, hello, so glad you came, I hope you stay. I'll tell you what I liked about the film, what I didn't like about the film, and is it worth your time watching Gunpowder Milkshake, where it is currently streaming on Netflix? So going into what I enjoyed about this film, and I really have to say, the film just looks so nice. It has this noir um, feel to it as you're watching it. I love the color palette that you see as we kind of mix different times um, together. It's still a modern film, but you still get this, you get that old school classic type of feel as you're watching it. I love that everything is so vibrant and so bright. The neon, it has really great cinematography. And I know what y'all thinking, Sharana, when you start talking cinematography, that means the movie is not good. But I have to tell you guys, the fight choreography, I am here for this fight choreography. One of the things that I really miss when we get into action films in general is that it has become more about the stunts instead of what I want to see is just some hand on hand, just some hand to hand fighting. Okay, there's some really awesome fight choreography um, in this film, especially as we get into the final, um, as we get into like the second going into the third act of the film. There's so, such amazing kills that happen. There is a lot of blood. There is a lot of interesting kills that happen, especially when we see um, Gugino, Yo, and Bassett. When they come into play, it's, some, it's a fun time. It's a really great time. If you guys are going in looking like, I just want to see a whole bunch of violence. I want to see some good kill shots. I want to see some awesome ways that people can basically perish. I know that sounds very morbid, but I'm just, there's people out here who want to see that. And I'm letting you guys know it's in here for that. Outside of the fight choreography, there is a really great, um, a uh, car chase that happens within a parking garage that I thought was pretty cool to watch. But also too, I like how they actually use, um, utilize Chloe Coleman in this film. Now, a lot of times when you get into action like this, you get it, Karen's character, she's supposed to protect this young girl, Emily, played by Chloe, um, Chloe Coleman. And then typically the kid gets in the way more than they do anything to add to the story. But I like in this film, they do a really great job of utilizing Chloe to where um, she doesn't feel like she's a complete waste. We'll get into that when we get into more so of the writing of the film. But I feel that like they do a very great job of utilizing her character, especially when you have all of these amazing actresses along for the ride as well. Um, but most specifically in that car chase scene, I thought they had a great use for um, Chloe Coleman. But overall, for me, I love watching movies where it has women who are badasses, but it's not like they have to be underestimated because they're women. They just exist. They're badass assassins. They have a specific specific set of talents that we love to watch on screen and I really like that for the most part they just allow them to do their thing. The movie gets really fantastic once we see the librarians who are played by um, Yo Bassett and Gugino. Once they come into play I was just like this is the movie that I was this is what I'm here for okay. You had me and Karen but I can't I stay for the librarians. To the most part because I enjoyed them so much in this film, it made me want even more of them. I know that the story isn't necessarily supposed to be about them, but because they're so cool when they come on screen, especially how they utilize the library um, as we're getting into some of these fight sequences, I have to say my favorite part of the film is really when they actually are allowed to take part in the action. Now, even though I have a lot of things that I really did enjoy about Gunpowder Milkshake, I do have a couple of issues. I think the main part of this issue really comes down to the script and the story. Um, while I love that we have this, um, this central mother-daughter theme, something that spills over in a relationship between Sam and Emily in the film as well, um, I felt as though I was watching two different movies in one. And I felt as though because they needed to make a decision on whether or not they were going to focus on the story of Sam trying to protect Emily from the firm or the other greater powers that be in the film as well. They needed to make a choice if they were going to focus on that versus are they going to focus on the estranged relationship between Lena um, Hetty and also to Karen Gillan's characters. Um, because they're kind of fighting against each other, you really lose sight of both the stories as a result. And I think also, too, it comes to the underutilization of 
um, what Karen Gillan can do with the material that's given to her. I love Karen Gillan. I think that she fits perfectly into the action genre, um, especially from her work as Nebula and Guardians of the Galaxy. But also, too, the opening um, part of Stuber, which premiered at South by Southwest a couple of years ago, after watching her in that film for the f um, first, fifth, I think it was the first 10 minutes of the film, I was like, I really want to see Karen do more action, especially after you've seen her in Jumanji. I just felt as though the script let her down a little bit. I think that the script didn't play to her strengths as an actress. And I think that it could have done better giving her actual time to shine. And because of that, because her character is fighting between two different storylines, that's why I said the whole portion of the film that has the librarians, that's what stands out to me. That part of the movie, everyone is going to watch and just be like, why didn't you just give me this? Like, why didn't you just give me a prequel that leads into a film like this so we can better appreciate these characters and I just think if they can control the story for the next film there's been talks that they're already in the process of developing a I don't know if it's going to be a sequel or a prequel to Gunpowder Milkshake but I think that this has potential for a franchise I think that they need to tighten the reins as far as it comes from a writing standpoint in order to give this cast time to shine because of this I think even though Karen is in the movie, I just don't feel like she's fully there. I don't feel as though the script really recognizes her full potential as an actress. And also too, it kind of leaves Lena like, what is she supposed, what is she doing here? Also to with Paul Giamatti's character um, as well. But overall for me, I had a great time watching Gunpowder Milkshakes milkshakes and milkshake but I know that the story is lacking but even though it is lacking and it's very weak I still have to say once we get to the portion with the librarians because you have such an amazing cast such amazing talent in this film and some badass fight choreography that is happening some great kill shots happening I was I had a blast I had a good time watching Gunpowder Milkshake so what I would tell you to do with you and your time for Gunpowder Milkshake I will tell you guys to watch it what else do you have to lose you get to watch some badass women kick some ass from beginning to end that's all I needed in the first place but those are my thoughts on Gunpowder Milkshake as always my name is Sharonda from Payer Awaits and if you like what you saw today make sure you hit the like button hit subscribe share this video with your friends and make sure you hit the notification bell and I love you guys 3000 and until I see you again Bye.